Hey, my beautiful Scorpios, welcome to First Star Visions. This is Q, and I'm here to do a second bonus reading. I want to spend, uh, send a beautiful solar return shout out to Robin's Realm. Uh, October 27th is her solar return, so join me in sending her love, light, good energy, good vibrations. I hope that today is especially special for you, beloved. Uh, to all of my beloved Scorpios tuning and tapping in who may have solar returns coming up. Happy solar return. It's our season turn up, turn up, turn up. <laughs> I hope y'all have something special, something fun, you know, plans. I just get a feeling that, you know, some of y'all haven't been out in a while. So you might need to have a little fun. You might need to go out and fellowship, socialize, have a little drinky drink on someone, you know. But yes, happy solar return, Robin's Realm. Send love and light to you. To beautiful Scorpios, welcome, welcome, loves. I will all as well. Peace and vibrance in your lives. Everything is everything on my side of the planet. And um, this is going to be, like I said, bonus number two for our uh, solar returns. All the Scorpios who have solar returns in the upcoming days. Um, as well as in the upcoming weeks, you know, for my November Scorpios. So this is going to be a general reading. So you already know my spiel. Eat the fish, spit out the bones. If it doesn't apply, let it fly by. This is also timeless. So whenever you find yourself clicking on the video, is exactly the divine timing intended for you all to do so. All right. So right now we have um, Rasan Patterson. And he is singing, It Feels Good. So some of y'all are feeling really good, you know, really excited about the festivities and all the little shenanigans you're going to be a part of <laughs> for your soul returns. Like I said, a lot of y'all haven't been out in a while, so you might not know how to act. But that's a beautiful feeling, to feel good, to feel vibrant, to feel alive, you know. I feel like you all deserve it, you know. This is a time right now where you all should be... You know, really celebrating and really enjoying yourselves. Looking back at all that you've accomplished. Look at all that you've been able to endure and still stand. So that's beautiful. For all of you who may be new, welcome. I am to a Scorpio and I'm also Claronian. So you will hear music in the background. And uh, it's just very magical the way the music and the songs align with the read. The tarot card reads, so thank you all for tuning and tapping in. So let's go ahead and call upon elements, water, fire, earth, air, ether, and spirit, our shade. I ask our beautiful angels, archangels, ancestors, spirit guides, deities, animal totems, earth, mother, Gaia, universe, source, the divine, most high God, our creator, to shine a powerful message of love and light. I also call upon Baba Obatala, Mama Oya, Baba Shango, Baba Ogun. Baba Ogula, Mama Yemenya, Baba Alegua, and Mama Oshun to bless me with the intuition and discernment of my cards. I call also upon Bar Archangel Mikael, Archangel Gabriel, Archangel Raphael, Archangel Saint Germain, Archangel Uriel, and Archangel Metatron to bless me with the intuition and discernment of my cards, to pro provide protection for our Scorpios. I also call upon Imhotep Peru. A set segment set bass and my art to bless me with the intuition and discernment of my cards. And I do call upon Lord Ganesha, Lord Shiva, Lord Ashakti, Lord Karakia. I call upon Mama Kali and Mama Lakshmi to bless me with the intuition and discernment of my cards. Please bless our Scorpios with protection. Please provide a beautiful energy for our beloved Scorpios, a beautiful message. And so it is, so I'm going to be Ashe, Ashe, Ashe. So right now we have um, Nas, and the um, name of the song is Reason. All right, so on the bottom of the deck we got Reflection. Mirror reflects. Can they be a reflection or the shadow, shot, a shadow side of you? And so maybe that's the reasons that some of you have come to... Um, 
understand why you've gone through a specific journey, specific lessons, learned certain things about certain people that you held in high regard. There was reasons for that. And the reason was that you didn't go through anything. You grew through that experience. It was meant for you. You had to learn something from that individual and vice versa. They were brought into your life to learn from you. And for those who do their work, they will learn the lesson and graduate, complete the cycle, complete the karmic lessons. Those who choose not to do the due diligence of working on themselves and aspiring to grow and evolve and change, then they get caught up in repeating cycles. Those are the stubborn ones. Those are the ones who feel like they don't have no reason to change. They don't have no reason to look at things from a different perspective because they're right. Everybody else is wrong. Maybe you've been dealing with people who have been very stubborn in that way or narcissistic, you know, struggling with narcissistic personality disorder. Some people use that word so much they don't realize that's an actual mental illness and it requires therapy. Some people are so stuck in that trauma, in that mental illness, that they can't even perceive anything from anyone else's perspective because it's all about them that's just the way they're wired and so many of you had to detach you had to get away from that type of energy because it was bringing you down and it was also not allowing you to live your truth to live your you know your destiny you know live out your destiny because you were so busy catering to you know someone who always required more was never satisfied you know but at the same time they didn't even see you as enough, which is why they constantly had, you know, a wandering eye or constantly you found they were cheating or being deceptive, you know. So that's the type of energy you were dealing with for a long time. You mirrored this energy. And I feel like you mirrored this because maybe some of you didn't know your worth and value. That's the only reason why someone would deal with a narcissist is when they don't even know their true worth and value. They don't know what they bring to the table. So many of you have learned the reasons as to why you were connected to certain people and they were soul ties. And these soul ties and these, you know, uh, spiritual bonds, these contracts that you had with people, these soul contracts that you had signed in a previous life, you now understand why. You understand the reason, you know, so that's beautiful. So let's go ahead and cut this deck. Because that was just the card that was on the bottom of the deck as I stopped shuffling. And so let's see what we got. Overall energy. So we have show them how to move in a room full of vultures. And it says protected divinely. So you all have shown and proved what you all were made of. And that was the reason for you going through what you went through. You had to show and prove even to yourselves that you were strong. That you were capable of, you know, changing a circumstance. And not just sitting around and being anyone's doormat or just accepting mistreatment. You all had to learn that the reasons as to why you went through that. But I feel like you've shown and proven the devil wrong. Like the devil had to take a double, you know what I'm saying? A double look at your ass. Like how, do, you know, did I get bamboozled and gaffled? This is my game. You know, you beat the devil at their own game because they thought that they had you figured out. They thought that they, you know, did enough gaslighting to have you caught up in the rapture for, you know, longer than you were. And so we have here loose ends hanging on a string. What was I saying about the devil? That's what the devil does. It puppeteers, you know, it, it, it pulls strings, it gaslights, you know what I'm saying? It creates illusions, delusions. And you showed the devil how to move in a room full of vultures. You showed them, not no, not even the, the, the devil, but you showed the devil himself, all of the vultures, all of the snakes. You showed them that you knew how to move and maneuver that energy. You knew how to navigate that type of energy. I won't be surprised if the world card shows up because you all have absolutely completed a cycle, completed a karmic lesson. There's no denying that. You've transformed tremendously. You've gone through so many changes. And those changes have triggered you to being who you are right now. And now you can stand in the face of any enemy. You can stand in the face of anyone who has duped you in the past. And they won't even recognize you because you've leveled up. It's almost as if they don't even recognize you anymore. And these were people who were able to like 
have you hanging on a string dangling around because they were master manipulators you know they were very good at conniving at duping at playing games at emotional manipulation psychological manipulation but you showed them that you knew how to move in that room full of vultures and not only did you know how to move it you navigated that shit so effortlessly so effortlessly and so damn smooth that like i said you you made the devil to have a double tape it's interesting <laughs> this is amazing so we got laws of attraction now you're vibrating high and shit attracting what you want it says manifesting your dreams hopes and desires this is the type of energy that comes in when you transmute the negativity you know when you learn how to utilize your gifts your talents your abilities as a scorpio you realize you are in fact the conduit of change you con you conduct the changes you choose you conduct the transformations it is you that you are the one that those lessons pretty much go through they have to go through that scorpionic energy you have to go through your worst of your worst and you have to rise from that situation so just when everybody think they could count you out just when everybody think that you dead stinking and buried that's when you start rising they hear the shuffling in the ashes you know what I'm saying? They see, they hear that shuffling and they hear you go shooting up straight to the stars. Because that's what transformation, that's what that scorpionic energy is. Constantly reinventing yourself. Constantly changing. The death is your energy. And that's what you went through. You go through several deaths in a lifetime. Several relationships you come in encounter with are designed to teach you how to be your best version because there's something within those relationships that are going to teach you something that you may not like about yourself or something that just may not you know vibrate with you any longer it just may not be your thing so you have to learn how to either coexist or how to get rid of and that's one of the toughest things for a fixed sign to do is to change even and that's the oxymoron it's like you are the conduit of change but yet you don't like the change because you're fixed so you get very comfortable you get very content in a situation but sometimes that situation outgrows you or or vice versa you outgrow the situation you're in and so when you may find yourself content it's coming off more as being complacent to spirit to universe and so those are things that you have to learn to change within yourself so that you can constantly be growing. Because as I said, you are the conduit of change. So you have to constantly be reinventing yourself. But I digress. So now you attracting shit with your bad asses. I love it. <laughs> you better go here with your bad asses. So let's see. All right. So that's the energy, the old, the energy surrounding your situation is you have shown a lot of your enemies. Now, trust and believe, Scorpios, I've been seeing the they're praying and praying on your downfall a lot in your videos. Um, and I've, I mean, in your readings and I've also been seeing they're tuning and tapping in. So a lot of times when I do these readings, I'm picking up either on lovers, families, friends. But I feel like you also got a lot of strangers tuning and tapping in. And those strangers are people trying to duplicate your style. And that's why in that last reading, I was telling you all to protect your information, protect your ideas, protect, protect, protect. Because there's a lot of frauds out here. There's a lot of snakes slithering out here. And it's because they're thirsty as fuck. They're parched. And they don't have no ideas. They have no originality. So what they will do is they will be the succubus, leechy, parasitic energies energy vampires that they are and they will go and try to find some vibrant fresh innovative energy you know what i'm saying some old powerful energy to go and steal and suck the energy out of that and so be mindful you know what i'm saying everybody that's smiling your face ain't your friend just know that and i know i don't have to tell y'all that but some of y'all you just have a very loving nurturing energy and everybody's welcome it's like remember this <laughs> Dave Chappelle when he was acting like um, what's his name Rick James and that's how y'all could be because you, you, you got that you know that innate nurturing motherly kind of uh, tendency but you can't do that now you know now is the time to protect yourself you are your top priority if people ain't vibrating on your frequency then I'm sorry this you know at this stage in the game we in the last quarter beloveds they ain't never going to get it if they ain't got it so be mindful not to share anything of value. I don't care if you just got a new promotion. 
stay tight lipped. Nobody needs to know that you got a promotion. They don't need to know how much money you got in a promotion. They don't need to know you just got a new car. If they don't see you rolling up in the bitch, don't say nothing. If you just got a new house, got approved for a new loan, whatever it is, keep your business to yourself. Stay tight lipped about that shit because everybody is not going to be happy for you. In fact, they going to be pissed the F off because those are the motherfuckers. Part of my language, but I'm very excited, very intense, are the ones that have been stealing your energy. They've been throwing negativity your way, whether by means of spell work, whether by means of just speaking negatively into the universe. And trust and believe what you don't see, your spirit sees, your angels, your ancestors, your higher self knows. And that's why it's important to trust your inner wisdom, your inner gumption, your inner knowledge. Because you know without knowing who's really rocking with you. But because you've been so busy and you've been, you know, doing your thing, you're not maybe you're not paying close enough attention. But cut your grass, keep your glass cut so you can see who's slithering around and ear hustling your shit. Because there's a lot of people ear hustling out here nowadays. Literally coming in. I had to like block my channel from a lot of major um reads and I don't even want to bring this energy in there so I'm a just skirt spirit told me don't even mention it so I ain't gonna say nothing but I'm just telling y'all just be mindful of what you're sharing and with whom you're sharing it with because that same person that you think is going to congratulate you those are the ones that's preying on your downfall those are the ones that are looking at you with the stank face soon as you turn your back you know what I'm saying those are the ones that you think is like, oh, my God, great job. You think they're going to say that. And then you tell them and they sitting there like, oh, OK. And then change the subject because they are fucking pissed that it ain't them. So keep it pushing because show them how to move in a room full of vultures ain't here for no reason. And the room full of vultures are people that you was calling family foe or, or family friend. And, and, and like I said in that former reading, like people you've been coining, you know, all of these beautiful um, nicknames and, and they really aren't rocking with you like that. So they sitting there smiling at you. And so it says go deeper. You haven't even scratched the surface. So a lot of you, like I said, y'all might need to sit, you know, might need to sit with this information and kind of really sit back and, and, and meditate or contemplate or go take a deep dive to, to see, you know, if there's anyone in your circle, inner circles like that. For many of you, you have already cut the grass. So congratulations, beloved. Standing O for you. You know, right now we have um, Alton Ellis. It says breaking up is hard to do. So yeah, this is <laughs> this is some some of these people are your exes, you know, your ex lovers, your your baby daddy, your baby mama. This is, you know what I'm saying, that ex husband. You know what I'm saying? That ex-wife. This is your f ex-friend. You know, whoever these exes are, whoever you done ex out of your life and cut off, those are the ones. Those are the ones that I'm speaking of. You know what I'm saying? So be mindful because it says breaking up is hard to do. So they're taking it very hard. You know what I'm saying? They're taking it to heart too that you've cut them off. I'm hearing, how dare you? How dare you? Who you think you are? And it's because you all outgrew the situation and you also peep game. You peep that they were not authentic that they were not genuine so you did your due diligence and you had to create space you had to create boundaries you had to also stop allowing people to demand time energy demanding shit and not ever replacing it not ever you know what i'm saying like you can't just keep making withdrawals and not make a deposit beloved you're gonna leave me in the red you're gonna leave me bankrupt while you sitting over here full and and and, and off my shit off my hard work so y'all gotta check your Check your folks, check folks, check people, okay? So go deeper, take some deeper dives, because some of y'all ain't cut everybody out. You still got some, some weeds in your, in your goddamn garden that needs to be cut. But I digress. So let's see. What's coming in for our beloved Scorpios? Give me some good energy, spirit. What's coming in for our beloved Scorpios for their solar returns? This is the second bonus reading. I just felt spirit said, go ahead and do a reading for Scorpios. You know, go ahead and give them a good reading. So that's what I wanted to do. So look, <laughs> so what's 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 good coming in is you your your I don't fuck with you game is very strong right now. So like I said, that show them how to move in a room full of vultures, and I don't fuck with you. Like you definitely have set your boundaries. You you've made your point. <laughs> you you know what I'm saying? You stuck a fork in that shit, the last nail in the coffin type ish. Like you don't fuck with certain things, so you ain't even focusing on it. If I don't fuck with you, I ain't even looking at you. I'm looking past you. That's literally what your sentiment is right now. 
So anything you ain't fucking with, you ain't even focusing on. You like, come on, keep it pushing. I don't want to talk about that past person. So it says right now, you radiate love and light. And it says shine bright. So that's exactly what you're doing. You shining beautifully right now. And it's because you got rid of dead weight. You got rid of all of the parasitic energy, all of that energy vampirism. You know, that just sucks life out of you. You know what I'm saying? So it, and then when it sucks enough life out of you, that's when your ass is prone to just pass out, you know, faint and shit. Because all of your life force is being sucked out of you. But for many of you, now you're radiating light and love because you've released some, some parasitic energy. You've purged a lot of toxic energy. And we have um, Slum Village playing um, Beej in them. Oh, it says beef in them. Beef. So a lot of these people you was you had a lot of beef with. You know what I'm saying? And they have beef with you. I don't even feel you have beef. I feel like they have beef with you and unbeknownst to you. You know what I'm saying? And when you figured that shit out, it was like, okay, I don't, I'm not fucking with y'all. Like, you know, once you saw, you know, this devil, once you saw the strings that the devil was trying to pull, once you saw the games, the manipulation, once you saw the intentions of these individuals, because I feel like you, you caught some eyes. You caught these eyes. You know what I'm saying? Something in the people's eyes was like, it was very telling. It was very chilling. I feel like you 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 peep game because Scorpio's like you're you're very intuitive, you know what I'm saying, very psychic, but you also can pick up on energy. You're very much like um, you could you could feel energy. You know what I'm saying? You speak energy, you feel energy, and I feel like your intuition was like shouting at you, like yo, either you need to stop fucking with these people, or you gonna get got. And I feel like you also realized that they wasn't fucking with you like that. You know what I'm saying? These people, I'm hearing you had them on high pedestals. You would have went above and beyond. You was going out of your way. You was doing the most. And they was doing absolutely nothing but sitting back talking about your ass. And a group of people like, this dumb motherfucker. I can't stand this bitch. And then when you come around, hey girl. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's all jealousy. It was all jealousy. It was all hatred. It was all envy. You know what I'm saying? There was no merit. There was no real, you know what I'm saying? It was just, you ref reflected to them what they weren't. You you showed them something that they was lacking. And that's what that was. You radiated light and love. You was nothing but good to them folks. You was nothing but loving and caring to these people. And, there, and no matter what you did, they wouldn't have fucked with you. You know what I'm saying? They would have fucked with you enough to get what they wanted. You know what I'm saying? And now that you ain't fucking with them, they can't get nothing. Because like I said, you was like a life force. So this is like that, like I said, that that energy vampirism where people just, they, you know what I'm saying? You ever heard of a leech? Like leeches literally suck your blood. You know what I'm saying? And that's how they grow and thrive and live. And parasites do the same thing within your body. That's why it's necessary to detox frequently. Because you don't want shit living off of you. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Not internal or external. So I feel like for many of you, you 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 got the download. When you got that download, you became illuminated and clear as to what you needed to cut off and who you needed to cut off. And now, you know, you have this sentiment like I'm not fucking with nothing that's not vibrating on my level, on my frequency. Either vibrate higher or get the fuck out. Like, and so we have um a Marie saying talking to me so spirit was talking to you your angels was talking your higher self was nudging you spirit was guiding you so you was listening to you know a lot of your um downloads like i said highly intuitive and and um receiving like a lot of illumination in the situation so divine spirit of love and light what's coming in for our beloved scorpios what else is going on with our beloved scorpios in this bonus reading so talking to you now these people want to talk to you because you ain't talking it up Somebody want to talk to you. You got synergy here and it says, I am drawn to you. So talking to me, somebody want to come in and talk to you. Somebody want to chat it up with you. Somebody who feels like, yo, like there's some strong, some strong chemistry or some strong connection. This person feels a magnetic pull and that's that law of attraction. So you may have manifested this just by changing your vibration and frequency. You, you absolutely will, you know, start pulling in great things, positive things positive um, situations, new and um, exciting opportunities will start being drawn to, you know, start pulling or you, you're pulling it. It's flowing, I should say, starts flowing to you. But I feel this is like in the sense of um, maybe a person, you know, because I feel like with synergy, you know, this also could just speak to you being, you know, in in um, sync with yourself, you know, in, in equilibrium, emotional, mental, spiritual you know what I'm saying? You feel like this strong spiritual. Um, it's like I'm hearing the word symbiotic. 
you know so maybe this is like um you're 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 being drawn perhaps i'm hearing even to your calling you know being caught you know and talking to me so maybe your higher self is talking to you you know what i'm saying talking to you to really do some work and i have a um and it says believe you can and you um believe you can and you will so maybe this is like i said maybe this is uh impertinence to perhaps your calling you know what you what you are here to do your your soul's mission your life's path your work you know what i'm saying because we all have gifts and it's our job to unpack them a lot of people get tripped up and you know stuck in in cycles and they never get to open up those packages but i feel like for many of you y'all are like finding more you know more signs more more signs and synchronicities like kind of pulling you in the direction you need to go many of you really like was was doing a lot of spiritual work like you was really healing at a soul level and i feel like by you doing that work it's kind of put you like i said in alignment with what you may be um called to do you know this also is speaking to like you being that star, you know, having that hope and that optimism that you could get out of, you know, these tight situations because you believed you could and you did means you're resilient, it means you persevered through all of the traps, all of the entrapment that was designed to destroy you and take you out. You like you because you was in sync with yourself, with your higher self. You know what I'm saying? There was a strong synergy between you and spirit, you and the divine, you and Mother Gaia. You know what I'm saying? And it was pulling you in the right direction. But I also feel somebody could be coming in. We got the song, Your Mom's in My Business, K Solo. So for some of y'all, y'all had to cut some sort of like generational curses. Maybe y'all had to change your whole ideology, belief system about yourselves because maybe y'all had overbearing mothers or you had like um troubled relationships with your mother you know maybe y'all have like estranged relationships maybe y'all felt abandoned by your moms you know maybe your moms like i said is constantly in your business maybe your mother is the enemy maybe your mother is the one that has been like you know trying to set you up you know for failure you know by not giving you as enough um, not even attention, but like not encouraging you, not supporting you. So they thought that you would just fall flat on your face and not knowing who the fuck you was. Those were the opportunities where your ass, like I said, you persevered and you remain resilient and y'all was able to find your way with or without the direction of your mothers. Many of y'all, y'all had to literally learn everything through trial and error. Like y'all had to just get out there, navigate the world, fail and learn. Like not y'all didn't even have that, that navigation system of a parent. Like your parents are the ones that's supposed to guide and kind of map things out for you. Like staying clear of this because this could happen. Do this and this will happen. Like y'all just had to go out there because moms was like absent. You know, mom's was out living her best life, trying to be, you know what I'm saying? Living, like reliving her second and third childhood out there partying and you was in school. Or, you know what I'm saying? Just like, it's like roles reverse. Maybe y'all had to mother your mother, you know, be the mothers to your mother. You know what I'm saying? But I digress. With moms in my business, that was just the download I got. But believe you can and you will. That's what you did. That's what, that could have been some of your models. I know I can, I will. You know what I'm saying? I am. You know, some of y'all could have been like saying those affirmations daily. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? I am the con the, the the conductor of my life. Or I am strong. I am powerful. I am beautiful. I am capable. You know what I'm saying? I am a master manifester. I am a money magnet. Whatever it is, I am healthy and wealthy. Whatever you were saying, it's like that that kind of drew certain things to you. You know, that that kind of, you know made things flow to you more it's almost like you know because that's like a form of manifesting as well you know because you're speaking those things into the ethers you know and when you speak those things into the ethers along with visualization along with like embodying that energy like feeling that energy like that's how you manifest like tch. it's like the manifestation happens so fast and it says believe you can and you will so you are manifesting something really really um, beautiful it could even be in love you know you know having a more like I said a more um, a more powerful connection with someone 
you know, manifesting someone that's going to vibrate on your frequency, you know, in terms of emotional intelligence, speaking your love language, being available and attentive, someone communicative, like someone that you have more than just a physical attraction to, but someone who's like drawn to you uh, on a deeper spiritual level, but also on a, uh, a mental um, level, someone that's a like mind, someone who's also spiritual, like they have all the the makings and all the qualities that you would that you feel is you know is your person. Okay, so it says your love is one in a million. So you're definitely attracting um, beautiful, beautiful love. This love is going to be like this is going to be. I'm feeling like this yin yang energy right here. This is definitely yin yang. You're going to attract. Like that divine feminine, divine masculine. And it's because you've learned like your worth and value. You know what you will and will not put up with. And what you will not put up with is no snaky, sneaky, funky energy. Because you are vibrating too high for that shit. So y'all are like really attracting someone that's going to be on your vibration. And it says your love is um, one in a million. No one can match it. And so not only is this person going to feel that you are especially made for them, that you're going to feel that about them because this is like a spiritual union, a connection that the divine is absolutely like, you know, they're conspiring behind the scenes to bring this in. And I've been seeing that and feeling that in the readings for the past couple of readings, like y'all are attracting this and it's coming very soon, but it's, it's, it's coming as soon as, um, as a lot of you let go of that that stankness, that stankness got to go because that's funking up all this beautiful shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like that stankness got to go. See that? Look at that. I didn't even see this. Look at this. <laughs> this crazy to rage shit. Look at this caution. You got people obsessed, man. I'm telling you, like Scorpios, I don't know what the y'all doing out there. And I know y'all ain't doing nothing but being you. <laughs> you ain't doing nothing but being you. You know what I'm saying? And to other people, man, that shit is like, it's like intoxicating. Like these motherfuckers is like doped up on cute. On, like I said on cute. So somebody's doped up on me. But somebody's doped up on like Scorpios right now. Like doped up on y'all. Like when I say doped up, like they, they getting high off of y'all. Whether it's by means of, like I said, looking at your social media. Some of these people could have pictures of y'all. You know what I'm saying? Could literally be just like obsessively looking at these photos or obsessively watching your life. Stop showing shit online. I don't know how many times I got to say this, but a lot of y'all like to just be boastful. And I know y'all doing that to be petty Eddie. Y'all being petty labels out there like, yeah, look at me. I'm doing good. I done lost 30 pounds, mofo. I'm <laughs> this is my I'm looking my best. Like <laughs> <laughs> Y'all do that shit to rub it in a motherfucking face. I feel you. But I'm telling you, like, these people, like, they, they growing more and more obsessed and more and more out of control. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and this is, like, this is heavy energy. So I'm not trying to scare nobody. I know a lot of y'all, you know, y'all got your, you know, <laughs> y'all got your protection by means of whether that's a weapon, you know. So you ain't really studying nobody. But at the end of the day, just be mindful. Because this is like stalkers, you know, these, this could be stalker, you know, energy too. This is not just, you know, anybody from, you know, an ex, but this also can be people within your neighborhood, at your job. Like, you don't know who's watching you. Y'all got a bunch of eyes on you. You know what I'm saying? And I'm hearing that song. I always feel like somebody's watching me. And that's in one of my decks. And that's how y'all might feel. Like, y'all might feel watched. You know what I'm saying? And I know for a fact, like I said... You know, many of y'all got people, you know, that's really smiling and beguiling. They really sitting there smiling in your face like they, hey, what's up? But they can't fucking stand you. Please know that. And I'm not saying that just to be, you know, on some negative shit. Like, I'm really trying to tell y'all, like, like there's some folks around y'all that don't fuck with you. They don't. And it's coming out in the reading. And I can feel this energy. It's like seething energy. Like, they seething. You know what I'm saying? You know what seething is? That's like deep-rooted anger, resentment. Like, oh, I can't stand it. Like, that's a motherfucker that grunts through their teeth when they think about you. Like, I can't stand this bitch or this motherfucker. Like, look at this motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? That's why I said y'all can't be out there, like, sharing all your good news. Hey, Facebook. Guess what I got? You know what I'm saying? Like, nobody want to hear that shit. Times is hard. You're going to make yourself a vic. Like, there's some crazy motherfuckers in the world and there's some people out here that's doing so bad that they will try to set you up. You know, they will set you up. 
But I feel, you know, like I said, I don't want to funk up the energy with that energy. But this shit right here, crazy, deranged. Remember that Martin Lawrence? That's where I'm coining that from. Remember the, um, I think that's from the first stand-up special. You know what I'm saying? So, like, t take precautions. Take necessary precautions. I shouldn't have to tell y'all that. Y'all know. Y'all intuitive. You know what I'm saying? Right now, we have um, The Business. And this is by De La Soul featuring Common. You know what I'm saying? So, like, <laughs> I'm telling y'all, keep your business to yourself. And we got The Business playing by De La Soul featuring Common. So, keep your business to yourself because it's making someone really upset. And I keep hearing seething. So, they're really frustrated they upset because you got something they don't have you know what i'm saying and these people are jealous and envious because they're not original you know what i'm saying all they can do is duplicate you don't want your original scorpios y'all are like y'all are trendsetters you know what i'm saying y'all don't do what everybody else do if everybody's wearing blue you gonna rock red if everybody's going over there to the right, you're going to go to the left because you different. You think for yourselves. Other people follow. And that's why they're unoriginal because they do what's trending. They do what everybody's doing. And it's like, it seems to work. Y'all will step out on a fucking, on, you know what I'm saying, on the leap of faith and just try some different shit. And next thing you know, you, you done started a whole new movement. You know what I'm saying? You done revolutionized some shit. So that's what they hate. And they hate the fact that you're original. They hating the fact that you, you know what I'm saying? Like you, you done came into the game and you, you, you just automatically got a lot of attention. You got a lot of, um, you know, you gained a lot of traction in a certain area that they may have. It took them a while to like, you know, get to a certain extent. Some of them are doing way better than you and they still a little jelly. You know what I'm saying? So. But let's go ahead. Let's see what's going on. What, what else is coming in for Scorpio's divine spirit? I love this energy because y'all is like, y'all ain't studying that bullshit. Like y'all so y'all vibrating so high. These people are mad at, at what you've been able to, you know, overcome. Because they tried to set you, you know, set up some sort of like, some sort of blockages for you. And we got pretty wings. So y'all done flew your asses away. We got child's play. Immature. Immaturity rather. These all fell on the floor. I'm picking them up. What did I say about a second childhood? And I was referencing second child. These are two cards speaking of how childish and how immature people can be. Immaturity is when you blame another motherfuckers for what you don't have. That's immaturity. That's somebody trying to play victim. And then we got spiritual baths are necessary. So just like I said, I'm feeling the energy of just like really seething, hateful energy. And them evil eyes be lurking. So you got to put that work in. And the work is spiritual work protecting yourselves mind body and soul you know what i'm saying so these are the ways in which y'all need to do that y'all need to conduct some sort of spiritual baths y'all need to take your asses out to a body of water and do a purge ceremony a release ceremony a clean clear cleanse ceremony y'all could do something as simple as like you know at night before you go to bed just you know creating a, a, a space like a, a, a protective um, shield around you while you rest clean your and smudge your mirrors because people could be doing mirror magic definitely make sure you do reversals um, you know to reverse anything anybody may be trying to put on you um, just click protect yourselves you know what I'm saying protect yourself but you got some immature energy here very immature child's play second child is somebody who ain't who refuses to grow the fuck up you know, this is somebody who feels like they done missed out. It's like, how the fuck you miss out and you got five kids? Like, if you don't get over here and raise your fucking babies, fuck you talking about you going to the club or you want to go hang out. Like, raise your children. Be grown. This is for some of y'all, like I said, who may have, you know, mothers who, you know, might be a little, you know, still out there wanting to go party, drink, going, you know, and you like, look, um, you a grandma right now, like, you know, maybe you've had to mother your child, whatever this is. These individuals are not on your level, and this is why they're hating. They're hating because you're growing, you're ascending. You're, it's this song by Maxwell, it says, Pretty Wings, so that speaks to you all flying. You know what I'm saying? That speaks to you all soaring. You all have become, you know, like you're looking at things from a bird's eye view. So you have a deeper, more profound, you know, perspective on life. That's that's like evolution. That's like wisdom. When you can see things from a bird's eye view, you get the whole full scope. You got an aerial view of everything. So you can plan, strategize, and conduct your moves in a way where you can avoid certain pitfalls. These mofos, like I said, though immature and second childhood, those are people who are not looking looking beyond what they see you know what i'm saying they don't have dreams goals aspirations they these are the type of energies that will try to like i said be energy 
vampires. They feel like, like I said, with this childish energy, it's like me, 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 I, 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 victim. You know what I'm saying? These aren't the motherfuckers that go put that work in and work hard, you know, really grind to accomplish things and make things happen. So you need to like shake that, you know what I'm saying? Shake that shit off of you. Shake that energy off by spiritual baths. And we got words of spells and spells behind all the things I said. Words of spells and spells bind, mind your words, and stay protected. So people are out here lying, straight up lying. You know what I'm saying? Fuck beguiling. They lying on your ass. Pathological lies. Trying to dis like defame your character, telling people things they know aren't true. And what they don't realize is what their intentions are for you by telling these lies are what's going to hit them in the ass. It's going to bite them in the ass longer because basically they're lying on you, you know? And like I said, the universe sees all the, your spirit guides, your spirit team, they're protecting you from shit you don't even know about. And as long as you don't pay attention to it, you ain't looking at it. You looking past it. That's why they're mad too, because they can't affect you. You know what I'm saying? Because you've already evolved. Like you, you too. Like you vibrate too fucking high for this funky energy. Like I said. And if you ain't fucking with somebody, you damn sure don't give a fuck what they got to say. Cause you know it ain't nothing but some stupid shit. It's like what the fuck. I give a fuck about what this person said, and they still sitting in the same spot they was in ten years ago. Like how is that gonna affect me? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's nice to know that I am the center of their universe because they're speaking of me. But this is that energy. So, you know, definitely do that because these people are really like casting spells with their negativity. It's just funky energy, but it's like boomerang effect. What they throw out is going to come back. And that's what they're going to get stuck in. They're going to get stuck in the traps they try to set for you. So that's the energy I got for that. So let's see what else we got coming in, going out, going on for our beloved Scorpios. We have love on the bottom of the deck. So just as I said, I feel like somebody coming in with a new love offer. And this is going to be somebody that absolutely, undubitably speaks your love language. Somebody who's going to be grown with it. You know, that love, that's the number six. That's the number of harmony. That's like that yin-yang type of energy. That's somebody that's coming in. And they absolutely are going to be self-disciplined. They're going to be aware. They're going to bring that type of change. And I feel like because you've learned to, you know, what your... Um, you know, you've learned what you needed, what you required in a relationship. And that's what's going to now, you know, bring it into you. You know, as you change your frequency and vibration, you know, the, 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 and, and I'm speaking of changing your vibration. And the song by Notorious B.I.G., Things Done Changed, is playing. So you've changed. And by you changing your frequency and vibration, you're going to change the type of offers that come in in a positive way. You know what I'm saying? Because you ain't vibrating low. You ain't got no low self-esteem. You don't lack no confidence any longer. Maybe in the past you did. You know what I'm saying? Which is why you were putting up with such negative energy, such childish energy. Because maybe, like I said, you didn't know your worth. But it required patience. You got patience here. Sometimes good things take time to create. And patience also is a form of action. So you got busy. You got busy working on yourself, soul searching, you know, healing at a soul level. You know, healing some of those familial traumas, some of those childhood traumas, going back to the root cause. You know, that root chakra is scorpionic. You know, it's ruled by scorpionic energy. So that's the first chakra. So you've you've gone from the first chakra all the way up to the crown because I feel you're highly intuitive. So much so that you know how to move now in a room full of vultures. And that requires like a very high level of intuition. Intuition. You know, and that's how you know not to fuck with people. That's how you know not to even like pay, you know, look at these motherfuckers. It's almost like when you look into the eyes of the demon, it's like you looking into their soul and they come almost to like hypnotize you. So you ain't looking at them. You looking past them. So I got a card that just flew out. I got two of them that just flew away and we have leadership and we have moderation. See that we got the 81, which is nine. So this is the positive changes. You took control of your life. You was no longer going to be controlled, manipulated, or monopolized by some young-ass energy, some immature-ass energy. And this is the leadership role. Show them how to move in a room full of vultures. You took control. You took the reins, and you was the lioness. You know what I'm saying? You was the lion. You showed and exhibited the strength. You know what I'm saying? The power, the self-discipline, the self-respect. You was not allowing anyone to take control of your you know, subconscious, your mind, and pump fear in your heart. You know what I'm saying? I'm hearing my heart don't pump no Kool-Aid. Like, that's what y'all, y'all was literally on some, like, yo, you know, you stood in your power. And this is because you started listening to your own intuition. 
you know, this purple inside of this card here. I believe this is red. I don't know if this is red or orange. But this 81 definitely reduces to 9. And 9 is the highest number of change. So you changed the whole paradigm when you said, nah, I'm controlling the ship. And we got moderations. You made the necessary moderations. And this was about you putting you first and you moving to the beat of your drum, loving you first, prioritizing yourself over these unfucking unappreciative uncouth ass people <laughs> you made the necessary change both of these numbers nine and five you know represent change you know and this was the necessary change that you had to make within yourself this is the change that you had to make overall which was making sure that you were standing erect and being true and standing in your power and standing your ground and being independent because your independence is the foundation for your success, for your stability, for your happiness, for your peace overall. So this love of self, the moderation that you made from self-sacrificing, self-sabotaging, overcompensating in a relationship, you had to make that moderation to where you was doing everything for the person to, I'm not doing shit. <laughs> How about I take care of me now? How about I put me first? How about that? Those are the moderations and adjustments I'm going to make. You motherfuckers got to... You know what I'm saying? Now you got to deal with not having me around. And look at this. Now you got new beginnings. So the new beginning is that you are coming into a more synergetic connection with someone who's on your frequency, on your vibration. This is someone that's going to give you passion. You're going to feel passionate again. You're going to feel love. You're going to feel vibrant. You're going to feel ecstatic. You know what I'm saying? This is something that's going to... And that's confirmation. The train is going. So that's movement forward. This is a positive movement forward. And you're taking this action. And you're going to be very... Um, I feel someone's going to be drawn to you as well. This is a very felicious number too. That one. It's very felicious. So this is somebody who could absolutely like be sexually attracted to you. As well as physically and mentally. I mean as well as mentally and spiritually. And so we have skills playing by Gangstar. Yeah, so this person is going to be very skilled in the bedroom, I just heard. Very skilled. You know what I'm saying? And they're going to make love. You know what I'm saying? This is somebody that's going to make love to you. They're going to be like, you know what I'm saying? Foreplay is very important. <laughs> that might be a little too much. TMI. But I'm telling you, like, beloveds, you're like, this person's going to make love to you. You're going to feel love like you ain't never felt before. And this synergy, y'all are both going to, like, you know, excite and, and, you know, entice one another. That's beautiful with that synergy. Yep. So why is um synergy here? Our beloved Scorpios. Let's go ahead and get these messages. Thank you, Spirit. What did I say? Love partnership. And that flew up, baby. So this this love pop the partnership, this is like yin yang twin flame. This is wish fulfillment too. This 26 reduces to eight. So this is something y'all was praying for, hoping for, wishing for, calling in. You know what I'm saying? And that's why you're gonna have a whole lot of hating going on. And that's why that your love is one in a million because everything you pray for, wish for, hope for is coming into fruition. And that's why divine timing is always of essence. Good things take time to create. So, you know, you ain't going to manifest overnight. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? If you do, it ain't going to last. So it's like be be humble, you know, when it comes in. Because this is absolutely like, this is, like I hear one and, one and done. You're, this is it for y'all. Like for this, this person that comes in, this is who you're going to be with. There's going to be strong communication, a lot of attraction. I feel like for this person, they are attracted to you sexually. You're sensual. You're beautiful. You're creative. They can see you as a mother. This is, like I said, wish fulfillment. This is going to be a very um, powerful, very powerful connection. This love partnership is going to be even spiritual. And with this infinity symbol, this is like, you know... It's like infinite possibilities. Like you would have never imagined in a million years that you would have been aligned with someone this beautiful, this dope, this, this like, you know, this, this person that's just like, you, you're going to feel like this, is, they were especially made for you is what I was hearing earlier, especially made for you. Like something you wrote down and gave it to source and they was like, okay, here you go. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Look, oh my goodness. Stop playing with me. Thank you. Spirit. I love when this happens. Thank you. Spiritual partnership. What did I say? It's not only a love partnership. This is a spiritual connection. And it's 27. These are the changes you was making. You had to learn to put you first. You had to move to the beat of your drum and not that of someone else's. Someone else was manipulating shit. Someone else was like feeding off of your soul, your spirit. Because you was such a radiant soul. And now you know exactly who you are. And you're being that unapologetically and that's why you're being matched with someone that also not only do they see it but they will appreciate it 
And not only will you feel that they appreciate you, but you will appreciate them and you will see how rare and unique and um, amazing they are. So it's like y'all will match one another. This 27, this is speaking to the positive changes. Like I said, when you make the change within yourself and you start standing up for what you believe in and standing your ground and cutting off what no longer serves your highest good, you can now start attracting what you are meant to attract because you're vibrating higher. And now you're going to have a spiritual connection, something beyond, like I said, just physical attraction. Scorpios don't give a fuck about that. Like you could be sexually attracted to somebody but sex is not your end all be all it's like you want something more and deep you will have intimacy with see with someone just to um know them you know on a more deeper spiritual level you know what i'm saying like because the sex really is like like i said y'all ain't gonna just have sex you're gonna you're gonna make love beloved this is this is love <laughs> you're gonna make some good loving <laughs> you know and, and um <clears throat> that's what i feel you know, I was feeling that, like, damn, like, this is this is a deeper type of situation here. And we got Fantastic playing by Slum Village. So y'all going to feel fantastic. The situation is going to be fantastic. Why is your love is one in a million? And look at that, perseverance. Because you persevered through all of the negativity. And I feel like this union is going to be so solid, so balanced. It's going to persevere through anything. You know, any. it's going to stand the test of time. It's going to be very solid. It's going to be very stable. It's going to be somebody that's going to invest mind, body, soul. They're going to invest long term. This is somebody that's going to love all of you. This is that number four, which is the 1111 energy. So this is someone that absolutely can see you as their soulmate, their soul, you know, partner, the spiritual union, this connection. This is green. This is the color of the heart chakra. So this is two of y'all, both of y'all, because this 1111 speaks to, you know, you know, that dual energy of the feminine and the dual energy of the masculine, which makes it four. You know what I'm saying? But you both are whole. This is a solid green card, which means both of y'all are coming to the table healed in a state of oneness, in an alignment. You know what I'm saying? You ain't coming to the table with a bunch of baggage and, and, and drama and toxicity and, you know, still thinking about this ex-ass person. Like, nah, see this? You manifested this shit. You've been manifesting, you know, as you change your vibration, like you realize you were the alchemist, like you literally can manifest what you desire. You know what I'm saying? And it's by like focusing your intention literally on what you desire, because you all had to do that, you know, in order to like get out of this, this mind state of, of, um, you know, I'm hearing woe is me or self-loathing in a partnership. Like none of y'all, y'all could have vibrated that low, but instead you kind of it's almost like you had to fake it till you made it so y'all had to like see yourselves somewhere else visually mentally within your mind's eye and that's how you were able to come out of a situation by just speaking like i said those affirmations i am powerful i am capable i am lovable i am beautiful i am a miracle i am strong i attract love every day everything i need flows like whatever it is you were saying you that's what helped you to like transmute whatever that situation was you know to transmute it to change it and you focus more on the healing focus more on on your soul searching you know and not on that person on those people on that situation and with your manifestations now things are coming into fruition you have a lot of luck a lot of wish fulfillment a lot of financial growth abundance expansion here and it's because of the love of self. This pink also deals with the heart chakra. So I feel because you've healed yourself and because you've returned to yourself, you're being rewarded. You're being recognized because like I always say, Scorpios, y'all worked your asses off. For those of you that know that you've been working your asses off for these past couple of years, like you're about to be blissed, beloved. If you haven't already begun to see the rewards and see the blessings, trust me, it's coming. This manifestation is speaking to some of y'all using that 8-8 eight, eight portal to manifest and now things are starting to come in. You know what I'm saying? Some of y'all could be, your solar returns could be um, November 9th. Your solar return could be November 8th. Some of y'all solar return could be November 14th. Some of your solar returns could have been October 26th. Happy belated. Some of y'all could be November 4th. But I feel like you're manifesting something. So why is uh, child's play immaturity here? Divine Spirit, why is this child's play immaturity card here? See that? 
financial discipline. This person felt com like they felt entitled to whatever you had. Some of these people caused a lot of um, financial rut. You know, they was making foolish money moves. You know, always had y'all in a spirit of lack. Always trying to rob Peter to pay Paul. Always trying to catch up because they was mishandling money. And it was because they was immature. They thought that they, you know, they was trying to be like a... Um, you know, this is a man, a masculine energy who's really not capable of leading the household, but um, just feels entitled to the role because they're masculine. Or this is a feminine who's, you know, out of balance and doesn't understand, you know, that, you know, you your, your hair and nails does not take precedence over the fucking rent. And the car note, boo. So this is that childish entitlement you know people who don't understand financial discipline who will stress you out because you are trying to make wise money decisions because you over here trying to keep the boat afloat and they sitting here pissed off with their arms crossed talking about i need my nails done <laughs> masculines drop them <laughs> you know what i'm saying but this is that energy like you, they don't know the big they don't even understand what 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 sacrifice is they ain't even willing to sacrifice you know, that hair appointment or that nail appointment for the betterment of the household because they're so stuck in this this entitlement, you know, this selfishness. This is selfish. How dare you? You know what I'm saying? You really think your fucking hair is more important than us having a roof over our head or a car to drive? You know what I'm saying? So that's what y'all was dealing with. Somebody who was really like, you know, mishandling the money, doing dumb shit because they was childish and immature, didn't understand the you know the how to prioritize so with this surrender here i feel like for this surrender somebody really wanted you to you know surrender to them and i feel like you realize that this this was some very immature energy that you could not um you could not even business with that you know they wasn't on your level mentally like spiritually y'all was on two different accords like this was not your type of folk you know and we have tiana taylor let's build and it's um I'm sorry, Tiana Taylor, let's build. So, yeah, this person, <laughs> they was trying to build with you but and, and wanted you to surrender, just like I said. You was trying to build. Let me say it like that. You were saying, let's build. They wanted you to surrender to them, but they were still immature as hell. You know, not on your level, not looking at the bigger picture. They was just in this moment right now. They wasn't thinking about generational wealth or, you know, leaving something, a legacy for the family or trying to build a, a, a safe, sturdy, strong, structured environment for the children. Like they was just focused on what they wanted. This is the me, me, me person, selfish, stubborn as hell, don't want to give, don't want to compromise, just wants you to follow them. Like they was leading blindly and they wanted you to follow their ass blindly. And right now we have Miss Fat Booty, most deaf. And so this person could have also, you know, surrendered to a lot of fat asses, you know, a lot of, of um, you know, a lot of um, external, you know what I'm saying, um, energies, you know, could have got caught up in third party shenanigans, uh, a lot of uh, promiscuity. You know, and this is because they was trying to like, you know, maybe you was dealing with a masculine who was up there in age and they was trying to like, you know, they was trying to like, like I said, like, um, relive their heydays. You know what I'm saying? This could have been a masculine or a feminine who was like having a, like a midlife crisis situation where they felt like they had to go back and relive, you know, relive their youth, you know, and, um, and they still wanted you to surrender. They didn't want to surrender to the connection either. They wanted to run free, run amok. And so they did. And you was like, look, I ain't got time for nobody who, who still gets distracted by booty. Who gets distracted by big fake asses. Who still goes to strip clubs. Like, I don't got time for that shit. I mean, to each his own, do you, beloved. I'm not judging, but y'all didn't have no time for that feminine. Y'all was like, look, you going to the where? And you giving out what? For who? Like, like you? It, it didn't even make sense. You know what I'm saying? For some of you, like females, y'all was just like completely baffled by the shit. So, and they wanted you to surrender to them, and they didn't even know how to lead. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, no. Okay. So, why is second childhood here not on your level for Scorpios? So we have what do we have? Self love. See that? So y'all had to practice self love. Y'all was like, I'm not gonna be second and third. I'm not gonna be no option here. 
know what I'm saying? You don't realize you got a divine feminine or a divine masculine, then I'm, I'm going to chuck up the deuces and wish you well on your journey. But this 61 reduces the 7. So y'all got the download like bounce now. Leave now. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Self-love makes you more attractive. So with this energy here, y'all received a lot of downloads, interventions, divine interventions from spirit. Your spirit team was like, yeah, no, you don't. This person, they stuck on stupid and, you know, they're stuck and trapped in a, a, a mind state. And, um, you know, that you are far beyond. So you need to go ahead and uh, keep it pushing and focus on loving you. That's why I was saying over here, y'all had to like really prioritize yourselves because, you know, this person here was definitely um, distracted by a lot. And uh, with this abundance here. This is what led to all of you, like I said, doing, um, you know, receiving this abundance and this financial blessing because a lot of you have had to learn to, uh, you know, to put yourselves first, as I said before. And I feel like you also learned how to, you know, kind of like you learn to express yourself some way, whether creatively, artistically, or even just like, you know, communicatively, you know, you started to express yourselves, your needs, um, you started to put up your boundaries and you started to let this person know what time it wasn't. It's like, you was not going to be playing with me or you are not, you know what I'm saying? My hood should be coming out. You is not, <laughs> but you are not going to be playing with me like I'm a child, okay? You could play with them birds that you out there dealing with. You know what I'm saying? You could play with all of that, but you ain't going to be sitting here playing with me. You know what I'm saying? Because you started to, fo you know, you started to exhibit the self-love. So some of the shit they was used to getting away with, they couldn't do it no more because you leveled up. It's like you, your, your ascension allowed for you to see through all of the illusions they was painting for you, you know, when they was in that devil energy. So we got the change and we have self-discipline. And it says spiritual baths are necessary. Sea salt, egg cleanse, Florida water. So that's exactly what y'all did. Y'all made the necessary changes and you took some of y'all have been taking my advice and have been doing your spiritual baths and that's beautiful and the self-discipline is also speaking to you all making sure to um do this on a regular basis like you know this is about being uh you know staying ahead of the game you don't want to be you know reactive you want to be proactive so before i say hey take spiritual baths because you got evil eyes watching y'all should already be doing that because you should feel energetically and intuitively when there's some sort of psychic attacks or someone trying to um, manipulate your energies. So this self-discipline, these are both fives, you know, this 41 reduces the five. So this is also about like, you know, again, you know, communication. Um, that five represents the um, the throat chakra. So it's like, you know, receive the downloads and these both fives, they reduce to 10 and 10 reduces to one. So this is about you being in that state of oneness, wholeness and balance. So as to know when you need to initiate certain things and stay ahead of the game and be proactive opposed to reactive. So we have here manifestation. So you absolutely are manifesting something new. And what did I say about communication? Somebody will communicate with you. Trust your intuition, your inner gumption. You all are literally like straight up psychics so i don't have to stress that enough so we have right now john coltrane and this is called uh cousin mary so some of y'all might have a cousin named mary that y'all might need to um uh, y'all might need to what do y'all need to do listen to your intuition when it comes to that person you know what i'm saying listen to your intuition when it comes to that person i see here um ostara which is the uh Divine Feminine, the uh, Empress Energy in the Goddess Guidance deck. So many of you Feminines have absolutely done the work. And you have ascended to this Divine Feminine Energy. Masculine, same thing applies. Um, just because it's a Feminine doesn't mean that's not your energy. So you all are very creative right now. I feel like you're really tapping into your divinity. Um, and you're really creating. You're like really pumping out new ideas. That's why I was getting the notion that a lot of y'all need to protect those ideas because right now y'all are like tapped in and there's people trying to tap in to your energy to steal your ideas. So protect your energy. Stay aware, stay alert and stay ahead of the game. Um, but you all, some of you could be pregnant. Some of you, uh, could just be birthing, like I said, new ideas for a business. Uh, some of you all have businesses or you have, um, you are, you know, preparing to launch perhaps a business. Uh, but I see opulence. I see expansion, abundance. You are master manifestors. 
um, so stay in that powerful energy. Look at this independence card and then the transformation is showing underneath that. So independence just flew out of my hand. Um, Bast, and I did call upon Bass during the pre-shuffle. So this is exactly what you all look at that is falling right under. Show them how to move in a room full of vultures and leadership. So as a leader, one of the things you had to learn was your foundation was a you know what I'm saying your independence is a foundation for your strength. And so it requires strength to be able to move in a room full of your enemies. Uh, in a room full of snakes, you know what I'm saying? It requires that that innate knowing, you know what I'm saying? That wisdom, that that intuition, um, you know, to to know how to stand alone or to stand in solitude and still exhibit this strength, this power, to where you can like keep your enemies at bay and keep them stunned and stunted. Because I was feeling like the devil was like, remember I was saying the devil is giving you a double look, like. What the fuck? Like, you know what I'm saying? Because you didn't fall for the okie doke. You didn't fall into the trap. And it's because you're highly intuitive. You know what I'm saying? And you're powerful. You know who the fuck you are. Um, you know, and you're fiery right now too, Scorpios. Because you're all tired of people fucking with your energy. And this transformation, this is exactly what you all have done. And I was picking up on that transformation energy. So y'all did experience a lot of changes. A lot of circumstances. You know, that required you to change. And we do see that with moderation and change and self-discipline. And so this is speaking to, you know, and even the moderation. So I mean, the perseverance, you know, that's you still fighting through those changes, still fighting through the, you know, unforeseen, you know what I'm saying? Still being resilient, re resilient regardless. So here goes your messages. They flew upright. So we're going to take all of those. And on the bottom of the deck, we got sacred space. So many of you, you need to spend time near your sacred spaces, your altars. Um, and this also is, you know, speaking to your spiritual baths. That's also very sacred um, ceremony to, you know, conduct a spiritual bath because you are literally connecting with your spirit and asking them, you know, to, to cleanse you, to heal you, to protect you. So you are really communicating with that energy. Um, I feel a lot of you need to spend more time in front of your altars to develop a stronger connection with your spirit team. Um, learn what they like so you can give them offerings because it's not always about asking for stuff. You also have to give. You have to get into the habit and the practice of giving thanks. When they open up a door for you, when they protect you from a situation, when they give you a blessing, give thanks, give honor, pay homage, give offerings. That's how you show them that this is a reciprocal relationship. Same way you don't want no man coming in or no woman coming in, take, take, take. Spirit don't want that either. You can't just be asking for shit and you ain't going to replace it with, you know, or it compensate them you know what i'm saying so be mindful to do that and and also you know um some of y'all may be going you know for your soul returns to a sacred space i know for myself i'm, I'm going to, i'm taking it to the beach i want to go to the beach i want to be by the water that's my element so i've made the decision that that's what i'm gonna do for my soul return and i'm gonna do um a beautiful ceremony i want to you know pay like um homage to the, to the ancestors, give them an offering. But this is um, a beautiful thing. I feel like a lot of you could be spending a lot of time by your altars. So that's what's on the bottom of that deck. So we have Sarasvati. So this card has come out a few times. So I feel like a lot of y'all are musicians, man. Some of y'all are musicians. Some of you have um, some sort of spiritual gift where you may be, like I said, you know, you may have a calling. You know, this may be something that you are being called to do. Some of you could be clear audience. Some of you could play instruments, write music. Some of you could be um, poets. Some of you could be authors. Some of you could just be, you know, maybe you're a hip-hop artist or you're singers, you know, and you're utilizing your throat chakra in that way. Um, we have you spin me right round playing by um, Dead or Alive. So maybe some of y'all are DJs, you know, because you spin the records. Um, I'm picking up on that energy. You could be like, you know, a DJ. And so it says, you know, express yourself through your creative activities. So many of you have been doing that. And I feel like for you, many of you, that's really, um, you know, some of the change, some of the ways in which you started to create some of the, um, some of the distance between yourself and some of these, um, low vibrational energies was you kind of got lost in something creative or you start you started to really like focus your energy inward you know opposed to external you know because that's what these people were dealing with in the past that's why you stopped fucking with them and started you know really picking up on some of your talents started to really hone your gifts so we have peace here so you will have um 
some serenity. You know, there will be a sense of solitude, a sense of like, um, this is a, you know, a really beautiful space uh, that you're creating for yourself, which is going to include like balance, emotional equilibrium. Um, you're also going to have all of your needs met. The divine is ensuring that you're going to have peace and solitude within a relationship. You know, you can see these two dolphins, you know, and the dolphins definitely represent emotional balance and um, they're highly intuitive. So I feel like this person could also be like another water sign because um, there's a lot of blue on this, you know, right here. Um, but I also feel like this person could be communicating to you as well. And you might feel like this is wish fulfillment. You know, like I said, you know, whatever good energy, whatever good seed you, you, you know, you sow, you're going to reap, you know, that harvest. And I feel like that's why, you know, Irene is promising that, you know, there's nothing for you to worry about because everything that you have called in, asked for, it's now coming in and it's going to be very synergetic, very much. Um, you're going to feel like you you manifested it you know and so we have receptivity so you have to open yourselves up to receive the blessings because your divine masculine divine feminine is coming in and this is someone that's going to like literally spin you over you're going to feel like you are um you know what i'm saying like maybe when you sit you ever see those movies where you know you kind of run to someone um you know from a distance you run and they start spinning around and like you know and that's and this i don't know why i just got that vision but it's like you would see those in like those early like late 80 early 90s movies those little um you know those little um little love story little comedy joints but it's like that's what i'm picking up with that you know i see it in my mind i hope i described it good but with you spin me right round that's how i'm feeling i feel like you have to be receptive you know what i'm saying because this is going to definitely like you know, allow for you to receive what the divine wants to give you. And this is, you know, because of the work that you've put in, because of the healing, because of, you know, the prayers and petitions that you've sent up, they receive them. And so now it's coming in. And so you just have to open up to, to receive what you've been asking for, because you have something that's going to be very solid, someone that's coming in solid, someone that's coming in, like I said, whole, stable, um, someone who's also um, going to be like, you know, they're going to be like your best friend. They're going to be like your, um, they're going to be very protective. They're going to be very much someone you can lean on and trust, you know, depend upon. Uh, and this is someone that you are going to feel like, damn, like, where have you been all my life? Because uh, I've never felt this love, you know, and I'm hearing never knew love like this. I never knew, never knew, never I'm trying to hear, I don't know that, I just heard it so loud that I had to sing along, <laughs> sing along with it, but that's crazy, but yeah, that's how you're going to feel, like you're never, you've never felt love like that before, like that's going to, it's going to feel like something you've never, ever experienced, and you just have to be open and receive it, because I feel like it's here already, it's just, it's a matter of you just opening up to it, and this is something that you really, you really, um, you worked hard for it and, and you deserve it. I feel like Divine is saying you deserve it. You know, just trust your intuition, trust your energy. And this is going to, you know, this is going to like, it, you know, signal to the Divine that you're ready to receive. Ashe. So we have um, No One in This World playing by Anita Baker. So, yeah, no one in this world is going to make you feel like that. You know, because this says um, your love is one in a million. No one can match it. So no one in this world is going to make you feel like that. No one in this world has made you feel like that. And that's why I was feeling like one and done. Like you're going to be just like, this is it. Y'all going to grow old, you know, but we have quiet time here. And it says, take some quiet time alone to rest, meditate and um, contemplate. And that could be what you have, um, what you all did to get to the point where you realize somebody was just simply, you know, childish. You know what I'm saying? Maybe for a long time, this person was able to dupe you, confuse you, um, you know, and, and, and you know, um, gaffle you you know, gaslight you, uh, because you, you, you really gave this person like the benefit of the doubt. Maybe when you first met this person, y'all did have a lot in common, but I feel like ultimately, like when you started to do your work, you see all these layers around her being like, those are just the different vibrations that she's vibrating on. This is almost like, you know, this is her auric field and you're vibrating higher on this green level. So I feel like you started to realize like this person and there's green here. You know, so you started to realize like this person was like emotionally manipulating you um, and there was no love. It was just all about money. You know, maybe this person was just thinking about, you know, 
financial um, security, you know, being able to control and manipulate the money so that they can continue to run amok and, and do whatever the hell they was doing out there while they was being childish and playing around. And I feel like, you know, as you took some time and went within and, and, and did that internal work, you came to, you know, the epiphany that this person was not somebody um, worth your time, you know, and with no one in this world, there's like, you realize like, this individual now realizes, I feel more so, that no one in this world um, is ever going to match, you know, what they already had. And this 12, this 48 reduces to 12. And so that 12 reduces to 3. So there was a lot of, um, you know, I feel I'm hearing third parties. And I usually don't get third parties from, you know, the number 3. You know, so I feel like there was a lot of third parties, which is why there was a lot of uh, financial um, struggle. Because they was like whining and dining holes or taking their money to go get their hair and nails done. So they could be all dolled up to go out on dates that you didn't know about. Um, and this is why they would be putting on a whole show and you'd be like, nah, I got to pay the rent. And then they're they kicking and shit and screaming. And, and it's because they were selfish. You know, they weren't invested in the relationship um, with you. They were more so like, you know, busy focusing on what was external. Um, but I feel like as you kind of went within and you took some time like in that hermit mode and you really just kind of like assessed yourself, how you felt, if the situation if you've outgrown that situation, because I do feel like there was a sense that you came to the conclusion, like I, I, I outgrown this situation. No one in this world, you know, is going to love this, you know, I'm, is going to put up with this bullshit as you was. Um, and I feel like you just kind of like kindly faded to black and said, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm off this. Um, we have right now, um, I don't want to be alone, shy. And so look, this, this person now is like, you know, Maybe some of y'all, you know, y'all didn't want to be alone, which is why you was putting up with this situation for so long. Maybe some of y'all was, you know, kind of in, entrapped mentally in this, you know, codependent connection. Um, but I feel like the more you really assess the situation, the more you realize with the 61, you know, because that's that crown chakra number seven, is the more you realize like, nah, I can't do this, you know. And, and you had to shy away from staying in the connection um, and just stand in your power and say, nah, I got to focus on self-love. And so when you focused on self-love, that's literally what, what, you know, um, what triggered your transformation because you, you took that initial step. The initial step step was walking away from a situation where you, you weren't being appreciated. You know what I'm saying? They, they, like, you know, this person wasn't loving you, right? They weren't reciprocating anything, um, that you was giving them. And I feel like, you know, you couldn't love this person more than you loved yourself. So which by you walking away like that showed the ethers, you know, that showed universe, the divine, like, OK, you know, this, they've learned. They've learned the lesson. So you've transformed from a certain mindset or belief system um, where you was once feeling like you were in a codependent connection. And now it's like that that experience has changed your life forever. You will never be that same person in another relationship that you was in your former relationship and it's because you have transformed you've evolved you've you know you've ascended to your highest best you know most beautiful strongest powerful wisest version of yourself and this is something that past person can never take away um so it's almost as if like you know you had that student teacher teacher student um you know dynamic with that person and i mean everybody we meet there's literally you know an element of learning um, you know, that we have to take into account, you know, but I feel like for many of you all the, that that past person definitely um, helped you to transform, helped you to find your voice, um, helped you to discover um, your purpose, who you are, who you are no longer. Um, and I feel like by you doing that work, like I said, because that was a very that was a lot of work. You know, those are, that's that required like breaking karmic cords, breaking yokes, um, you know, breaking generational curses. Um, that required a lot of soul work. That required a lot of soul searching. That required a lot of internal, um, you know, an internal reflection and introspection. Um, and you've discovered a lot about yourself. Uh, and you've also discovered a lot that no longer, like I said, um, that was no longer applicable to who you were. And so that's how it was easy for you to leave those situations. But there's a lot of blessings, a lot of wish fulfillment coming in for you all. Um, I do see that I need to get um, some more cards to clarify spiritual bath. So I'm going to get this. So let's go ahead and clarify 
I'm going to clarify both the cards, uh, change and self-discipline. So we just had that, like I said, that I don't want to be alone. And you all made the decision, like, you know, I'd rather be alone than to be in a relationship where I, I'm still alone anyway. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You realize, like, damn, I am alone. Whether I'm in a relationship that's where this person is absent, uh, you know, like, whether physically, emotionally, um, or I am just, you know, I'd rather be alone. Some of y'all need to go outside, you know, get some fresh air, you know, sit by bodies of water, walk barefoot on the grass. We have Way You Playing by uh, Shantae Moore, and this is called Waiting to Exhale. So many of you are waiting for the opportunity to just kind of like let your hair down and, and live again, have fun again, you know. And um, I feel like for your solar return, this will be the opportunity. So why is spiritual baths are necessary? Change here. Thank you, Spirit. I just had a card fly away. And we have Compassion. So change, and this is compassion. So I feel like a lot of y'all had to, um, okay, so this is saying like, you know, with this compassion, still be compassionate, you know, be compassionate towards yourself more importantly, because maybe, you know, many of you are being hard on yourselves. Like, I can't believe I let this person did this, you know, do this to me. And so you could be like, you know, a little frustrated, you know, at that past person. But I do feel like, you know, what Kwan Yin reminds us is that we have to release the judgment because as you release the judgment, then it releases whatever that um, energetic hold is on that circumstance or that situation. And so we have to, you know, as we evolve, then we, like the card said in the beginning, you start radiating love and light. And so that's what the divine wants you to focus on. Focus on the love and the light, regardless of whatever the situation is, the circumstance, um, and just exhale, let it go. You know what I'm saying? It's almost like they're saying waiting to exhale is um, the name of um, the movie that the song is from. And so I feel like the divine is telling you to exhale the bullshit. Like just exhale, show compassion. Um, people know not what they do, especially people who are immature and ignorant and blind to the facts and stubborn. They're going to go through what they go through, but you don't have to hold them hostage also um, because they got enough shit to work through. This person here, oh my God, they got a lot of work to go through because two cards back to back shows the immaturity levels of that past person. And why it, it, it required you to, you know, focus on self-love because you was literally attached to some shit that you outgrew eons ago and you were still dealing with it and settling. You know, that's the energy of settling. That's why I was picking up earlier, like, you know, some of you get you, you get complacent. And that's why the change is inevitable. It's necessary for Scorpio because people come into your life and you can get comfortable, even though it's it, they're not. They no longer serve you, your highest good. They, they no longer have nothing to offer you, but you're settling because it's familiar, because it's something or someone you know, and it's like, nah, you have to challenge yourself constantly. So the divine is saying, look, you know, you can show compassion, um, you know, especially with the spiritual bath that speaks to like the ignorance of people who feel the need to throw, um, you know, certain um spells and do certain things uh they're doing it out of ignorance and the divine is saying like you you already are the conduit of change you are the master of transformation so you have nothing to worry about vibrate on your frequency of love and light because that's how you defeat your enemy that's how you was able to do it here and that's how you'll be able to continue to do it so when people are out here you know uh speaking ill of you saying negative things the first thing some may turn to is getting frustrated, angry, or feeling perturbed by that. That's how they win. You know, that's how that low vibrational energy wins because that's all they're trying to do is steal your energy, draw your energy from you, and bring it on over to them. All you have to do, like I said earlier, is look past them, not at them. There's nothing worse you can do to somebody who's an attention whore than to not give them the attention they, they crave and thrive on. And so the divine is saying, Focus on the love and light. And that's how you change your whole situation. So the spiritual baths continue to do that. But while you're you're speaking your um, prayers and while you're, you're setting your intention, focus on the love and light. Um, focus on what you desire. Speak what you want into the universe, into the ethers, into the water. And trust and believe that will change and transmute whatever situation. Whatever somebody done threw, threw at you, it is, it's not going to take no effects. So we have um, purification here. And it's saying um, it's time for a cleansing, um, a detoxification. Remember, I was speaking on uh, parasites earlier. So some of you all 
have literal parasites in your body or you may just have some parasitic ass leachy ass mg vampire ass people around you and so it's time to purge clean clear cleanse mind body and soul and this is requiring um you to do that because you know as you focus on your self-care you know you start practicing self-discipline which is going to cause you or or lead you to setting boundaries you know what i'm saying telling people no do not step past this threshold or else it's like wu-tang style protect your fucking neck like you're not with the shits no more so purify your energy cut shit off that doesn't serve your highest good and you will um you'll be vibrant so we have right now alex um isley and it's um and it's called um into orbit so into orbit that's beautiful so into orbit and look what we have fertility see that i love this so we have self-discipline and we have the divine feminine in the outro this is beautiful and we have into orbit so you all have ascended to your higher selves congratulations scorpios you are the divine feminine you are the divine masculine and you already know what time it is you've you've worked hard to get to this you've worked hard to you know obtain acquire the power that you have you are master manifestors you are very loving and very nurturing and i feel like that's the self-discipline that was necessary learning to not give everyone the love and the nurturing give those who deserve the love and the nurturing because maybe some of y'all was given a little bit too much and like i said you wasn't getting enough back so when you constantly have people making withdrawals and they're not making any deposits it's going to leave you feeling depleted it's going to leave you feeling you know completely um lethargic used and abused and i feel like you've learned you know to trust what you feel intuitively when it comes to certain relationships and you also started to practice self-discipline such as saying no when others are demanding your time and your energy um learning to you know prioritize you and your needs first and foremost um and that's how you were able to you know ascend to this highest level but i do feel like for many of you all there's some form of wish fulfillment coming in something is really magical going to take place and i feel like with this on the bottom of the deck it's in relation to love you're very attractive you're very magnetic and i feel like you are attracting exactly what you're vibrating on this is the energy of love and light and you're shining very bright um, when we speak to orbit, you know, that's literally, you know, out in the ether, you know, out in the stars, you know, in the atmosphere. So I feel like there's some form of wish fulfillment coming in for you all. Uh, and it's it's in relation to love. And this is it says, you know, the romantic stirrings in your heart have propelled the universe to deliver great love to you. So you all have great love coming in and you're going to feel like you're floating. You know what I'm saying? You're going to literally feel feel like you're floating. And this is going to be something very magical, something very beautiful. And I feel like you all deserve this. You know, this is something you all deserve because you can see clearly all the work, you know, all of the effort that you have put into your own healing, into your own um, journey. So this is a beautiful reading, Scorpios. Happy solar return again to Robin's realm. Happy solar return to all of my Scorpios from the 27th, 28th, 29th. 30th 31st happy soul return to all of my scorpio twins there's a couple of y'all out there happy soul return babies and also to all of the november scorpios i give love and light to everyone thank you all for tuning and tapping in if you found that the reading resonated please be kind hit the like share subscribe definitely hit the bell notification so you know whenever i upload if you are new i hope that you stay a while beloveds and if you are returning you already know what it is love is love is love until next time, I'll share y'all. Peace.